Alright. Alright, thanks. Uh, can you all understand me okay? Yes. Can you understand me? Okay. I am American. Uh, I am from Illinois, the state next to where Corey grew up at. And I've known Corey for a few years, uh, at least. Uh, my specialty, my research, is mostly on naming and brand names, shodome in Japanese and in English. And today I'm going to talk to you about mostly about personal names, the kinds of names that uh, you have, I have, that we give to other people. Okay? So, um, if I go too fast, tell me to slow down. Sometimes I get excited and I talk a little bit fast. Uh, but it should be okay. I'll give you each of these, each of you one of these, and then I'm going to break you into groups, into two groups, okay? And you guys will be one group, and you guys will be one group. Uh, some of these are very easy. What is your name? Just write it down. Some of them you can talk about, uh, and I'll give you about 10 minutes, and then we're going to go through each of these, and we're going to talk about them, okay? okay. It's pretty easy, <coughs> but it should make you think a little bit. <laughs> If you want to get together with your groups, as soon as I give you the sheet, it's okay to talk to each other, it's okay to help each other with these. Yes. 
Okay, then you have a second meeting with the game with the gamekeeper. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Um, uh, let me put Seven sprouts. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Does anyone not have kanji for their name? Hiragana? Karakana? What's your name? Serena. <laughs> What's your last name? Sakai.
started the name had probably a white house, right? So that's possible. Oh, what about light? Light. Light? Oh, yeah. First name. That? Does it have many? How do you spell it? L I G H T. Uh, I mean, as a family name. Oh, uh, first name. Have you ever heard of a first name? I haven't either. Oh, okay. No. Uh, no, but you have, you have color names in English also. Brown. Brown is a family name that's very common. Okay, for example. Green is another one. Uh, it's strange that some of the colors you'll have a name for and some of them you won't. It's, you know, I don't think I've ever heard of Mr. Blue. <laughs> but it's a nice color and it's a color that has positive meanings to it. Okay? But you have Mr. Brown, which is really strange. So, okay. In what order do you write your name? In Japanese, what order do you usually write your name? When you fill out a document, when you go to the Kuyakusho, and you fill out a document, you know, you need some kind of shomeisho. What do you put? Which order? Naoki, what's your last name? Oh, last name? Yeah. No, Saito. 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 Do you write Saito Naoki or do you write Naoki Saito? Saito Naoki, yeah. Family okay. name comes first. Family name comes first. Why? That's how we write. Okay, that's, yeah. the, that's the custom in Japan, right? Okay. How do we normally do it in English? In which order do we usually do it in English? First name. We usually put the first name first and the last name last. That's why it's called the first name. <laughs> first name first, last name last. There are documents sometimes which will have the opposite order. Sometimes. Okay. But usually we do first name first, last name last. So what happens when Japanese people go overseas is often the order will get messed up. Okay. They'll forget to fill out a document or um, they will uh, go and introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Kobashi. So everybody will start calling you Kobashi as your first name. Because we think when you are introduced to someone and you give your name, that that is your first name. Repeatedly, many times in Japan, I've seen articles complaining about America, especially the American media for not respecting the Japanese name order, okay? So they say, why, for example, in China do you say Deng Xiaoping with the family name first, or in Korea with the family name first, but Japan you flip it to the American army? And that's a good question, it's an interesting question. But um, one thing that people have to understand is when you go into a different country, you sort of have to follow that custom. And so when you're introducing yourself to someone in English, make sure that you put first name first, last name last. Otherwise, everyone will think your family name is your first name. And some people, I guess, like that. Okay? But that's not really how you know, language works. Okay. So here, um, my business cards, for example, say my family name first. They say, thank you, Sean instead of Sean Clanky. On the front, they'll say Sean Clanky in English, but the back will be the Japanese way. Okay, so if you go overseas and you do business or something, that might be one way to solve that problem, is if your card is in Japanese on the back, put it in the Japanese order. If it's English on the front, put it in the English order. You just have to remember that. Okay? Are we okay so far? Good? Yeah, good. You can understand me? Okay, question. Japanese likes this you know, this thing um, uh, do they know do as the Roman does. Yeah. Do as the Romans do, right? <laughs> that is the, the, the reason why we could um oh, sorry. That's okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, uh, there is that saying, do as the Romans do. Um, I think it depends on what it is that you're doing. <laughs> if it's a good thing to do, then it's probably okay. If it's a bad thing to do, don't do as the Romans do. Okay. Uh, what are some ways that Western names are different from Japanese names? Okay. What are some ways that Japanese names are different, or Western names are different from Japanese names? Can you think of any? We've talked about a couple. Okay, Japanese names are usually in kanji. Okay, 
Uh, Western names, of course, are using whatever alphabet, uh, probably the organized alphabet. Uh, but what else? What other differences do you notice between American names and Japanese names, for example? Yeah. I think because we use kanji for name, all names, so there are lots of kanjis. There are lots of kanji, even because his name is, like, let's say, Shota. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a short, like, he's shorter, but the kanji might be different between, like, yeah, I mean, Jennifer is Jennifer, yep. but we have Naoki, mm -hmm. but my name could be different from that one. Okay, sure, yeah. Uh, some very, some names with um, a lot of character choices to them. Uh, you might have ten guys in the same room, they each have the same name, but their Chinese characters will be different, right? Yeah, there's a lot of flexibility. And parents, of course, are always trying to find the best meaning for their children, right? The right number of strokes, okay? Uh, your parents, when they chose your name, probably counted the strokes, uh, looking for the right character combinations to as they believe it, give you success in life, or give you a nice life, or gradual prosperity, or gradual riches, or something like that, okay, to get that meaning, all right? Uh, so, they're probably consulting books. Uh, American parents are consulting books, too. They're consulting name books, also, looking for the right name for their child. But it doesn't matter. The, the strokes, the number of times we have to write it, doesn't really matter that much, okay? Uh, let me go back just a step, back to the Western names have meaning uh, thing for a second, because we, we mentioned the flowers and we mentioned the other stuff. Uh, where do a lot of Western names come from? Where do a lot of the names that we have, the most popular names in America, for example, where do they come from? Yeah, where do they originally come from? Bible. Yeah, a lot of them are Bible names, biblical names. Okay, they come out of characters out of the Bible. Okay, so you have Mary and Jacob and, and Sarah and all these other names, uh, Rebecca, and things that come out of the Bible. Okay, but to a lot of parents uh, who are not religious, those names don't carry that meaning. To religious families, those names do have those meanings. Okay, so there is that separation there. Okay, so there is that level of meaning in some names, especially if they came out of the Bible and religious names. I forgot to mention that earlier. Okay? Other differences between Western names and Japanese names. You're missing a big one, yeah. Western uh, names have middle name. Yes, middle names. Okay? And you're going to see that down here because I put my middle initial on there. That's a difference. Are there any other differences? But it just seems like Japanese family names are all, almost always based on like nature. Like, That's right. Or something in nature, like high hill or bear or something, or bridge <laughs> or forest. Yes. Uh, a lot of family names uh, are related to natural phenomena, yeah, because mm -hmm. when they originated, there wasn't that much other than those things out there uh, to look at. Uh, do you know when Japanese started really taking family names? Edo. Oh, at the end of Edo, about the beginning of Meiji, uh, was when the law said that you had to take a family name. I can't remember the exact year, I think it's like 18, around 1870, I think is what it was. Um, I have to look that up again. But there was a law that said that everyone had to take a, a second name. Most people prior to that just had one name. Okay. But Western names, we can tell a lot about a person by their name. Okay. Not necessarily their meaning. It's not necessarily a meaning that we have, but we can tell 
where their family might have come from by looking at the name. Can you do that in Japanese? I mean, you can, you can tell someone comes from the rice field or someone comes from the, the small mountain or the, the, uh, the entrance to the slope. Okay, you, you can tell that much information. But with a lot of Western names, we can kind of get an idea of where their family, you remember, America's made up of a lot of immigrants, plus the indigenous people that were already there. So we can kind of get an idea of where they're from by looking at, especially the family name. The family name will give us a clue. Okay? So, for example, if you see this, this name, or it might be with a capital P, What would that tell us? If you see the name DuPont. Anyone know? No idea. <laughs> yes, it's French. Okay? So if you see this family name, you can probably guess that their family probably came from France. Okay? And Americans do this. When we meet someone, you know, one of the first things that registers in our head is it gives us a rough idea of where they're from, or where we think they're from. Oh, you have a French name. Is your family from France? Okay, how long have they been in America? Well, six generations or ten generations. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you have a name like that. So if we're in America and we see, you know, a family name like Sato, we're probably going to guess you're Japanese and not Chinese. Right? Okay. <laughs> Fairly common Japanese name. Uh, Americans who don't know the difference between Japanese family names, Chinese family names, and Korean family names will probably guess Chinese. What about Kim? <laughs> Kim, if you, see the, yeah, if you see the family name Kim, obviously you're going to think it's a, it's a Korean family name, right? Okay. Uh, so, especially with a lot of the Western European names and stuff, we can kind of pick out whether they're German or French or English. Um, it gives us a clue, okay? Where I grew up at in America, we had a lot of Swedish families. So we had names like Lundgren and things like that. Uh, we knew immediately that was a Swedish family. Okay. Uh, we had a lot of German families. We didn't have a lot of French families. We had a lot of German and Swedish families. Okay. Uh, and of course the American Indian names as well. Um, when you see one of those, you probably understand that they're probably from one of the American Indian tribes uh, as well. Okay. So, we know that uh, Americans have three names, usually. Okay. But sometimes they have more. Okay. Uh, I did my graduate school at University of Hawaii. Okay. And in Hawaii, there's a little bit of a different naming system. Okay. Because many people are made up of several different ethnicities. They will take one name from each one. So when they have a baby, they will say, well, you know, the father was Hawaiian, the mother was Portuguese, or German, or something else, or they've got part Japanese. They'll have three or four different names, and each one will be each of those uh, places represented. Okay. So you'll see the, in the newspaper, when you see the babies, you'll see these long names. Some of them have four names, some have five names, and they register them that way. So you might have an American name, you might have a Japanese name, you might have a Hawaiian middle name, you might have a family name or another name. Okay? So that's a little bit different from the rest of the country. And even within the country there are differences in the way that people are named. Okay? So, uh, the second question is, my name is Sean M. Clanky. Can you guess any information about my name? Can you guess any information about my name? Anybody, where does my name come from? My first name or my last name? The last name comes from Chuckway. <laughs> <laughs> no, they should be paying me to use my name. <laughs> okay. Since I think I'm probably older than <laughs> maybe by just a year or so. Uh, no. Okay. Um, I have to say, Sean, you know, being American, I yeah. no looking at your like when people look at my family name, most people, oh, that's German. 
Yeah. But yours, I had no clue. Well, well that's I because think. it was altered. Oh, okay. They changed the spelling. They changed the spelling. Um, my first name is the easiest one. People will see the first name, and then they'll see the last name together. And they know that this is an Irish name. Okay, so they think of it as Irish or Gaelic. It's not spelled the Gaelic way, but I mean, the name Sean is generally considered to be a Gaelic name. They'll see Clanky, and it looks like this name. It looks like Clancy, which is an Irish name, very Irish name. So this, and they'll see the red hair, and they'll say, ah, oh, you must be Irish. Okay, yeah, I have some Irish in my family, that's not a problem. But that's not really what this name is. This name is actually that. And as soon as someone sees this, Kleinke, they'll say, that's a German name. Okay? This looks like Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. Yeah. 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 Yes, it looks like Calvin Klein. But this is Kleinke, and this is a German name. And my great great grandfather, when he came to America, he said, this is too difficult for Americans to spell. I guess he got tired of them misspelling it or something, so he changed it to this clanky, the way it sounds, and pronounced it clanky. In America, there's only one clanky family. So if you ever see the name clanky, they are related to me somehow. Wow. Okay, there's only one clanky family. And there are hundreds of clankies around. They're all from the same family. Uh, so this was the original name, okay. My parents like this name, they tell me because they liked Sean Connery, 007. So they gave me this name, Sean. There are actually three ways to spell Sean in English. You can spell it S-H-A-W-N, you can spell it S-H-A-U-N, or you can spell it S-E-A-N. All of those are Sean. Now, Sean does have a little bit of a meaning. Sean comes from another name. It's actually a biblical name. Do you know what name this comes from? John. From John the Baptist. Okay. Uh, Sean, Ian, Evan, uh, Jean in French, um, all of the variations of that are all from this, this name. Okay. And they're all in different languages. So you have them all throughout the system. There's like 10 or 12 different names. They all come from John, but they changed in each language. So you have Gaelic, and you have Welsh, and you have Scottish, and you have the different names. And French. Yeah. Uh, French. Yep. Um, uh, is the Gaelic candy named John come from Sean? No, Sean comes from John. John was the original one because of John in the Bible. Oh. Uh, and John was very famous in the Bible. Uh, these names came later. They're variations according to different languages. How different languages uh, treated the name John. And that's how they developed. Okay. So John was first, John was first, and then other names came off of it. That's how it happened. What do you think the M in my middle name stands for? Sean M. Clanky. What do you think it stands for? M, M is what? Michael. No. M is Michael, yes, that's correct. Michael. This is your lucky day. Yes. I'll buy you a chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't because the poem doesn't have it. <laughs> uh, Michael, like this. M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Michael. Okay. Michael. Uh, number nine, can you think of any laws or rules in Japan about naming? That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Can you think of any? Okay. Of course, we don't use any bad word. Well, actually, that's a law. 
There's a law in Japan that says if you name your child something that will affect them negatively in life, then the people at the Fuyaku can say, no, we're not going to register. Uh, this was tested with a case of Akuma. Okay, do you remember hearing about Akuma? The father named his son Devil, and they wouldn't register it, and that went through the court system, and the court said, no, you can't do that to a child. Okay? We have much more flexibility in, in America. There are really only a couple of things you can't do. You can't give the child a number for the name. You can't do that, because it kind of reminds them of some bad past things that have happened in other countries. And you can't do that. And, uh, mostly society will tell you you can't name them something really bad. But you can have really strange names. Okay, Frank Zappa named his, his Frank Zappa is a musician, he named his kids Moon Unit Zappa and Dweezil Zappa and really strange names. But that was okay. Um, but what you can't do is you can't uh, give them a number or something like that. In Japan, there's actually a specific law that says you can't name your kid Akuma or something really bad. Obviously, you want to give them a name that's going to help them in life, not hurt them in life. Okay? And finally, Sometimes names become very popular, other times less popular. Can you think of some names, some personal names that are very popular right now? Hannah. Hannah. Okay. Taro. Hmm? Taro. Taro? That's so old. <laughs> That's an old name. Okay. Is it popular? Okay. No. Not like you. No. Sorry. Not Taro. Taro's an older name. What about now? What are some popular names now? In Japan? Yeah. Kenta. Kenta? Okay. Yuki. Yuki? Okay. Mm. Shion. Okay. Not Shion. Shion. Yeah. Shion. Shion. Mm -hmm. Not Aeon. That's <laughs> why <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Shion. Alright, any other names? How about names that have become less popular? We have a lot in English that are less popular. Can you think of some that are less popular? I think there's some names which have Ko at the last You're name. smart! Yes, because actually, I was just at a conference and there was a professor giving a presentation about this. Uh, names with Ko, female names. Okay, male names usually don't have a Ko in. Female names with a Ko. Nani Nani Ko, Amy Ko, Miki Ko. The Ko is being dropped. Okay? So you'll still hear Amy. Amy's a common name. Okay, but you won't have any code so much. Okay, the code is kind of disappearing right now. It may come back in the future. It can become popular again. But right now it's becoming less popular. This is the most common thing we're seeing right now, is that the code is dropping. Uh, people are giving their children names without the code. Okay, which means child. It's a diminutive form. Okay. Uh, in English, we have lots of older names that are not very popular anymore. Bertha and Chester and... Gladys. Gladys, <laughs> yeah. Mabel. Mabel. And those names um, to us sound dated. They sound like old names. And so, I mean, you still see them around sometimes, Lester and things like that, but they're, they're disappearing. Okay. Uh, so, I, wow, one minute ahead of schedule. <laughs> I'm pretty good with that. Um, I want to uh, wrap it up there. I want to thank you for letting me talk to you today a little bit about naming. Um, personal names are not my specialty, uh, but I do know something about them. Brand names are my specialty, but I thought this was more uh, useful to you to think about names in this way. Uh, I want to thank Corey for letting me come up and do the course, Thanks. and uh, you know I had a good time with you guys today, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.